The timing couldn't be worse. In the midst of a renewed surge in coronavirus infections, the government of the Netherlands collapses, ending the mandate of Mark Rutte. We are of one mind. If the whole system has failed, only joint responsibility can be borne. And that has led to the conclusion that I have now offered the king the resignation of the entire cabinet. One of Europe's longest serving leaders, Mark Rutte, had long been known as Teflon Mark, with few scandals or criticisms overshadowing his premiership. But that all came to an end on Friday, after a parliamentary probe found that tax officials wrongly accused some 10,000 families of fraud over childcare subsidies, often based on their ethnicity. In what officials described as an unprecedented injustice, the families had been forced to repay tens of thousands of euros each, which in many cases led to bankruptcy and unemployment. Among them, Janet Ramazar, a 35-year-old mother of one who had to reimburse nearly 40,000 euros in childcare allowances. It was terrible because at a certain point you can't pay any bills, you can't afford anything. You get a wage seizure, your allowances are withheld. I received a bank seizure. I couldn't go shopping or pay for everyday expenses and got into even more debt. The consequences on Ruta's political career, however, are likely to be limited. He will lead the caretaker government until general elections set for March 17th. Should his party win as expected, he'll be first in line to form a new coalition, which if successful would set him on course for a fourth term as prime minister.